So if I can go File, Open Example Data Sets, and double click on Iron, and you can see the data have come in. So let's look at some summary statistics. This is what you're told to do before you do analysis. Okay, so we go Stats, Summary Statistics, and you can see all the various areas of statistics that GenStat covers are from the Stats menu on the menu bar. And we'll open the Summary Statistics menu. All of the menus have this similar style where you have available data that can be used for the analysis. You've got various choices of, in this case, the output that you want or the graphs that you might want to see. There are more statistics that you can have. If I want to look at iron, I can double click on iron and it will go through to be the variant that we want to analyze. Notice that it's only offering me the variants, the data that are relevant to this field. If I now move the focus to groups, it offers me the two factors, the grouping variables. And I can double click on site and I'm going to plot a box plot. So I shall check box plot here. When I've done all that, I can click on run. And if I run, you can see I get the box plot and I get the analysis. So we've got summary statistics for each of these sites and the various statistics that we selected in the menu. Now, if you're not sure what one of these is, suppose we are not sure what a quartile is, I can put the cursor into quartile and press the F1 key. And this then brings up the GenStat online help and it gives me a definition of what a quartile is. Okay, so if you've also got the box plot, and this is what we call a schematic box plot. So we've got a box for each of our six different sites where the data were collected. The line in the middle is at the median. In other words, the middle value, you've got half one side, half the other. And the whiskers cover one and a half times the interquartile range. Interquartile means from 25% to 75%. And we have our outliers labeled. So they're red if they're more than three times beyond this quintuquartile range, and green if they're within that three range. So it gives you a rough idea of the distribution of the data that have been read.